Hi everyone, welcome to the Frugal Rules YouTube channel. I'm John. And I'm Nicole. We're glad you're here. And we hope that you enjoy saving money as much as we do. Please click the red subscribe button so you can keep getting our newest content. I'm assuming you have cable and you're thinking about cutting it and that's why you're watching this video. If that's the case, you've come to the right place. If you're looking for content on how to cut the cord, including what equipment to buy and what you need to stream, check out our video on that topic. We used to have cable. We had the highest cost package, yet most of the time we just scrolled through the endless menu of channels looking for something to watch. We paid over $100 per month and thought nothing of it until we first heard about streaming services. If I could see you right now, I'd ask you to raise your hand or nod if you can relate. If you have cable though, I'm sure you can. Once I saw how much money we could save, it was a game changer for me. And DirecTV knew it too. That's who we had before we cut the cord on cable. I can still remember calling them. They pulled out all of the stops trying to get us to stay. They offered me special deals, trotted out ones I never knew existed, but the sticking point for me was the contract. They refused to give me service without signing at least a two-year contract. That was not something I was willing to do. One of the things I love about streaming services is none of them have contracts. You can cancel at any time you want. I remember that phone call well. You were quite animated, as I, I recall. The other thing I remember is how good it felt to finally be free of a cable contract. We want you to feel that same freedom and save money on your TV bill. Yes, we do. And we want you to know that you can still watch all of your favorite shows for half the cost. So today, we're talking about five of the best cable alternatives. At the end, we're going to tell you which ones offer local channels, so make sure you hang on for that. All right, let's get into it with our first way to cut the cord on cable, Philo TV. What? I'm just gonna interrupt you there, John. I wanna talk about this one. Okay. I love Philo TV. For just $20 a month, you get 59 channels that include favorites like HGTV, A&E, AMC, BET, MTV, Travel Channel, you name it. The one downside to Philo is that it doesn't include sports channels. You won't get ESPN or Fox Sports, but if you buy a digital antenna, you can get all your local channels for free. That's good enough for me because I can still watch NFL and college football games on the major networks every weekend during football season. It might be enough for you, Nicole, but not for me. I want to be able to watch games that air on ESPN, and I also like to watch ESPN News on occasion. That's why our second streaming service, Hulu Live, is my favorite. Hulu Live is exactly what it sounds like. Hulu plus live TV. It starts at $54.99 per month, and you receive 60 plus channels of live content. I like Hulu Live a lot too. Not only do you get live TV, like John mentioned, but you can watch all of Hulu's original content, like The Handmaid's Tale, plus a large library of on-demand content. So when the kids wanna watch a new episode of DuckTales, they can, but they can also go back and watch any episode in the entire series. All that on-demand content isn't always available on regular Hulu or even in most cable programs. Speaking of DuckTales, I know you and the kids are Disney nerds, so you signed up for Disney Plus before it even launched. But for our viewers who love Disney, if you sign up now, you can get their special package of Hulu, Disney Plus, and ESPN Plus for just $12 a month. While you won't get live TV, if you want to spend less than $20 per month, it's one of the best deals out there, especially for young families. Speaking of families, our third top way to cut the cord with a streaming service is Sling TV. Now, Philo and Hulu are pretty straightforward. Sling is not. They have different channel packages with different names based on colors, and it can really be confusing to figure out which one's best for you. The easiest way for me to remember it is that orange is cheaper than blue. Oh, and orange includes ESPN. Orange costs $25 a month, Blue costs a little more at $40 a month, or you can get them both for $45 a month. All the Fox Sports channels are on blue. If you love sports though, and you want ESPN, it might be best to pick the combined package and get it all for $45 a month. While that might seem pricey, it's still quite a bit cheaper than cable. 
That's right, the average cable bill costs nearly $110 per month. That's just crazy. If you're paying that much, you need to stop and think about what you watch most often and ask yourself if it's worth over $100 per month. I'm willing to bet you can still watch your favorite shows and channels for less than half of that amount. Just think of what you can do with that extra $60 per month. Ooh, I'm already thinking about it. There was a really cool pair of shoes that I saw online the other day. I could buy those and still have enough money left over to buy a second pair. Okay, Nicole, let's move on to our fourth solid streaming choice, Fubo TV. Fubo TV has over a hundred channels and offers a solid lineup of news, sports, and entertainment content. Like Hulu Live, Fubo includes live TV and costs just $54.99 per month. If you like live sports, it's one of the best options available, especially if you like something like soccer. All right, John, let's wrap it up with a fifth and final cord cutting solution, YouTube TV. Do you know what our kids do every Saturday morning while we're sleeping? Watch copious amounts of TV? Yes, that's exactly what they do. And they play games on their tablets and they watch tons of YouTube videos. I really don't see the draw in unboxing, but hey, it keeps them quiet while we get our beauty sleep. So I'm okay with it, one day a week. When I watch YouTube, it's usually how to fix a running toilet or unlock a bathroom door from the outside. But YouTube has more than just user-generated content. YouTube TV is a full streaming service, just like the other ones that we already mentioned. It includes over 70 channels for $50 per month. That's a huge savings over cable. That's right, Nicole. Any of these streaming services are much cheaper than cable. Now let's address a final, very important question for people out there looking to cut the cord on cable. How to get local channels without cable. We mentioned at the beginning that you would want to hang on to the end to see which of these cable alternatives offer local channels. So let's go through them one by one. Philo TV, the first streaming service we discussed, does not offer local channels, unfortunately. Hulu Live and YouTube TV include all the major networks. Fubo TV offers all of them, with the exception of ABC. Sling TV offers Fox and NBC in select markets. Getting them depends on where you live and what channel package you select. It's a bummer that Philo doesn't include local channels, but if it's the best service for you, you can get your locals another way. All you have to do is buy a digital antenna. There are different types, but if you live in a city, you'll likely be fine with an internal one, like this Mohu Leaf, which we have. We bought ours on Amazon for less than $50. There's more to say about digital antennas, so if you want to know more, check out our video on how to cut the cord for all the details. That's a great point, Nicole. Our cord cutting guide is really helpful if you want to understand the bigger picture about how to cancel your cable contract and start streaming. We cover everything you need to know, and if you're a little further down the road and ready to start streaming, try one of these services that we've discussed. If you're not sure which one to pick, try them all one at a time, as all of them offer free trials, usually at least seven days, but sometimes they're longer. Check out the links below to access those free trials and learn more about each service. While you're down there, leave us your questions in the comments below. What do you pay for cable? What's keeping you from cutting the cord? Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more content.